And there they all go. Nedved, Ibrahimovic, Mbappe. And we're sitting on 5.3 million coins my team's literally been torn apart do you guys want to kickstart your foot 22 team off with a bang head over to moolfactory.com for the cheapest most safe and reliable coins and use the code nerdfire at the checkout for five percent off your order and get yourself some foot coins to boost your team right now okay guys so today we are back with a new video and it is time to try out probably one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive promo card as of yet. Honestly, thought I was breaking the bank last week, but it turns out this week it's nearly double the amount we're paying for Kylian Mbappe. I mean, literally, look, he's 5 million coins. And you know what? I'm envious for the Xbox people. They literally get it a million coins cheaper. So if you're an Xbox, <laughs> lucky you. But I really want to try this card out, though. I mean, it, it's looking like a ridiculous card. It keeps coming down and down in price. So by the time we actually buy him and sell him at the end of the video, we're probably going to lose like 500k plus the tax. So that is going to be absolutely lovely. But I want to know if any of you guys have got your hands on this card yet. Like, has anyone packed him? Anyone tried him out? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. But let's get ourselves to FIFA and let's get the funds for this player, I guess. Right, this is my current team that we're rocking. As you can see, we've got a fair few expensive plays. Ibra is still there. Literally, though, we're going to have to sell, I genuinely think, half of the starting 11 here. Like, literally, half of the starting 11, including my gold Mbappe, who's literally played 425 games for me. He's got to go. I've, I've got to get rid of him. We, we literally have only 1.3 million coins. I mean, I'm saying only as if that's not actually, that's actually a fair few coins, but still, nowhere near the amount for Mbappe. All right, I guess we get selling for these players. I mean, Ibra's so good as well, man. Oh my god, let's just sell them and then cry after when we probably lost about 500,000 coins. All right, up goes Mr. Ibrahimovic. Three million coins. I mean, I've already made a loss here on him. All right, off Ibra goes. Next up, we're selling Mr. Nedved. I mean, this guy, I'm not too fussed about losing. I can't lie. I'm not going to lie. He's not that great. He is going for a whopping 190k, though. Off he goes, though. And then last but not least, my guy that I've literally used from nearly the start of FIFA, Killian Mbappe. Like I showed you earlier, his record. I mean, I did pay 1.6 million coins for him. We've only got a 600k loss. Off he goes as well. All right, so well, I guess now we just wait for these to sell. And then we pick up an Mbappe and pray He's good because we are literally spending so many coins on this. Oh, here we go. Three transfers have been submitted. And there they all go. Nedved, Ibrahimovic, Mbappe. And we're sitting on 5.3 million coins. All right, this is it. It's time. It's time to go all in on this Mbappe now and give him a go and see what we think of the card. Like, we've got to see what this card can do. All right, we're on the store to buy the headline is Mbappe. Let's see the pricing. Let's see the pricing. Okay, we're looking at about 4.9 million right now. A little bit less, actually. 4.87 4 as the cheapest. That one is a CDM though. So I think we'll go for this one. 4875. Okay, we've done it. We've actually, we've actually just paid 4.8 million coins for one card on this game. That is like literally, I, I want to know what a team you can build for that many coins. This team here is literally 4.5 million coins, like cheaper than Mbappe. You can build this team. That is genuinely ridiculous. Okay, he best be worth it, I swear. All right, here he is though. Mbappe's headlining card. Let's store him and let's chuck him in a team. Actually, you know what? I've completely forgot to check out the actual card. So let, let's do that first. Actually, that probably would be a good idea. So his on card stats are sitting at 99 pace, 94 dribbling 90 shooting 39 defending 84 passing and 80 physical five star skills four star week for high low work rates i mean the stats are ridiculous let's go for a top three like we did last time and no particular order 99 pace has got to be in there the 94 dribbling and actually the 90 shoot. i'm just gonna go with them three because that's really all you need in a striker that is absolutely disgusting let's check out his attributes his attributes sitting at 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed onto the shooting 94 attacking position in 95 finishing 88 shot power 84 long shots 84 Five volleys and 81 penalties. Passing is actually very good once again, just like Ibra. 86 vision, 82 crossing, 72 free kick accuracy, 89 short pass, 75 long pass, and 84 curve. Onto the dribbling, he's got 94 agility, 85 balance, 95 reactions, 93 ball control, 95 dribbling, 90 composure. Defending is nothing that we care about by the head in accuracy, which is a 78. And then onto the physical, 81 jumping, 91 stamina, 80 strength, and 64 aggression. My top three attributes stats. Uh, what am I going to go with? Let's have a think. Number one, it's got to be the 99 acceleration because that is absolutely disgusting. He should just blast past defenders. The second one I'm going to chuck into my top three is probably 94 attacking position and he should be getting in beautiful positions. And then the third one I'm going to throw in there is the 95 dribbling. Okay, so we've seen the card. Let me actually go ahead and show you the team he is actually in. So we've got Lloris in goal and Babu right back. Ferdinand right centre back. Left centre back is Varane. Left back is Teo Hernandez. Left centre mid is Claude Marie. Central centre mid is Kante. Right centre mid is So. Right wing we've got Figo. Striker is the headliners of Mbappe. And left wing we have got Lionel Messi. Okay, the team's complete. Mbappe is 
is there. It's now time to try this card out. Please be good. I'm begging right now. Let's get into a game. All right, we've got our first opponent. This is his team. Let's see what Mbappe can do against it. Hopefully, he can absolutely rinse it. Mbappe, here we go. Oh, roulette. Surely he finishes this. With the finishes. Oh, that was a deflection, but it still counts, right? Eh, it's one nil. Look, they're giving him the goal. His card's on the pitch. Come on, Mbappe, please. You cost me so much. Can he get us a goal here? Mbappe on the left foot. There we go. That's more like it. That's more kind of close to your price tag. I mean, it's still, you know, you're not that worth it just yet. Mbappe, surely here. Good dribbling. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Hat trick in 28 minutes for Mbappe. All right. You know, I think he started a bit slow. Didn't warm up properly, but now, okay. He's got the stretches in. Here we go. Mbappe over the top. Can he get onto it? The 99 pace. Has he got it? Oh, he has. That is disgusting. Finish. What? I'm, I'm so shocked that he's genuinely not finishing that. I can't believe that's not gone in. There you go with the ego. Mbappe. No, that's another one missed. You're joking. Mbappe, come on, please. Across goal. Mbappe finally finishes one. There we go. 4-4. Four, four. Okay. That's four goals for Mbappe. Mbappe. Mbappe to win. It's the game. <laughs> On oh, the 88th minute. It's Kylian Mbappe. You know what? He feels good. The dribbling's not that great. I'm honestly not going to lie. Well, there we go. That is game one done with headliners Mbappe. Let's do a little review from the first game. I mean, the guy did bag five goals for us. I wasn't that impressed with him though. You know, compared to, I guess, like Ebro, who's had like a massive upgrade. I'm not feeling much difference. From his gold card to this. I mean, he's only a plus two. Maybe someone that's better than me at the game would feel a difference. But so far, he just feels a bit like a standard Mbappe. But let's give him another game and let's see what he can do. Okay, opponent number two's team. Here we go. Oh, he's got a bit of flashback in there. Flash. Let's hope Mbappe can absolutely smash him this time. You know, I mean, five goals. Can I really complain? I don't know. Probably not. Mbappe. Here we go. The burners are on. The burners are on. Across goal. It's in, surely. Bang. There we go. One nil, four minutes. We like to see it. So, into Mbappe. That's another surely. Bang, it is. It is again. Two goals in seven minutes. I think this guy might be gone. Yep, he's paused it. He's gone. Yeah, we can't really count that as a game. Okay, one more game. One more game with Mbappe. Then we'll give our final thoughts. Opponent number three. We got the flashbacks in there again. Okay, all right. Opponent number three. Let's see what he could do. We don't actually care what he could do. It's all about Mbappe. So we could lose literally 8-1 as long as Mbappe scores. Mbappe. Blitz through. Blitz through. Surely here. The 99. The 99. 99. Acceleration. The sprint speed. Mbappe. What a finish. What a finish. Oh, my God. Mbappe, bicycle kick. Oh, no, never mind. What a free kick, by the way. What a set piece in Mbappe with his second. Oh, well, you know, he's only 2 nil up this time in like 65 minutes, but we've got another quit. I guess no one wants to play Mbappe. Okay, time to summarize headliners Mbappe for this review video. I'm going to straight up say it right at the start before I get into anything else. Do not pay 5 million coins or just under for this card. There's literally no way he's worth like 4 million coins more than his actual gold card. I'm telling you now, don't do it. Just buy his gold card unless you're like a top, top player where you might notice the difference. It's really not worth it. However, though, I will say, obviously, it is a ridiculously good card. I mean, three games, nine goals. He's going to get you goals. Let's. He's going to get you goals. But if I was comparing to like Ibra, who's 2 million coins cheaper, you're definitely better off getting an Ibra and then a golden Bappe. Like that partnership will be definitely like 10 times better than just this Mbappe. The things that I liked about the card, definitely his pace. Obviously, I mean, Mbappe's always got pace about him, so it's nice that he can just literally just burst past defenders. Obviously, having five star skills as well is nice because I do like personally to do skills myself. I feel like he could have actually scored another three or four goals. Like some of the chances he took, he definitely should have scored. So I wasn't like overly impressed with his finishing, but he did still score nine goals in three games. So can I complain? I guess really not. But yeah, the overall summary is he's definitely personally not worth the five million coins. I wasn't the biggest fan of his dribbling as well. He didn't feel that agile compared to the likes of a Vinicius Jr. I think Vinicius Jr. definitely feels a lot better on the ball than this Mbappe card. But that about summarizes it up. That is my Kylian Mbappe kind of review slash video of just trying out Mbappe, I guess. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. What I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments below what you think of this card. Do you think it's even worth anything near five million coins? But yeah, there we go. That wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below and smash the like button as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>